Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we've got a great one for you today. We've got an image up here. It's got a little icon on top of it. When I hover over the icon, it's going to have some info slide in and appear there. When I take my mouse back off, it's going to slide back out again. That's a nice little feature to have on your site. People are mousing around and that happens. It's going to get their attention pretty quickly. Really easy to do. There's no coding involved in this today. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. And let's add a new section. I'm going to go down and hit the little blue button to add a new section. I'm going to make it a regular section. I'm going to put a single column in mine. And for this today, I'm going to use a little blurb module because it's got the little icon with it. Divi comes as standard with all the light gray modules there, plenty enough to build just about any site. So I'm going to pop the blurb module in. And if I roll up, there we have it. I'm going to leave the title and the content just as it is there. I'm going to roll down to image and icon though. I'm going to use an icon rather than an image there. So I'm going to flip that little button to yes. I'm simply going to choose that little chevron there that works for me or the arrows. Now there's an awful lot of icons to choose from since they've teamed up with Font Awesome 4. You can do a search if you want to. Or there's a little button to the right here. You can pop out a breakout box and scroll a larger picture. There's a lot of scrolling to do though, but I'm just going to leave mine on the default today. Great. Well, I actually want my icon to the left of my text there. So let's go over to the design. We're still in the blurb itself. I'm going to go to image and icon. Icon color, I'll change that later. I'll leave it how it is at the moment. But icon image placement, I want on the left, which is great. And I want it a lot bigger as well. Let's perhaps make it 100 pixels. That's a lot better, great. Now you may have noticed with the blurb module, it's only taking up a small amount of content, whereas our row is about this big. I want mine to stretch the whole of the row or the whole of the available area. To make that happen, still in the design tab, let's close up image and icon. And we'll go down to sizing. Here's our content width. There's the default 550 picks. I'm going to put 100% in there, 100 and the percent sign. And as you can see, that's now stretched the full width of our row there. Fantastic. Great. Well, I'm going to save what I've got here. And I'm going to add the image that I want to have behind it. To do that, I need to go into the row. We've got a blue tab for the section, a green tab for the row, dark tab for the module. So I'm going to go into the green tab for the row. And the content, I'm going to go down to background. This is always where you'll find background under content. We've got color, gradient, image, which I'm going to use today, video, background pattern, or background mask. I'm going to go to background image, click on the little button, and let's choose that image will work fine for me today. And as you can see, it's popped that little image in there. Okay, well, I can't really read my writing very well. And there's a little icon, I'd like to turn that white also. So let's save what we've got going on in our little row here. We'll go back into the module, the dark tab. Okay. Well, I'm gonna roll over. I'm gonna to go to the icon first. Just go to the little blue circle with the white brush in it. Click on it, it'll take you straight to the edit tool for that. I'm gonna make it white. That's fantastic. Now I'm not gonna do that for the text because I wanna do them both at the same time. You can edit the content and the title individually if you want to. I'm gonna close up the image and icon again. I'm just going to the general text, which is just text on its own. I can do them both at once. I'm gonna change it to light. That's better. I can see what's going on there. I like to bring my icon up so it's more in line or more central with my title and text there. I can read those nicely over that image, I believe. So to do that again, I'm going to hit the little paintbrush by the icon, take us straight to it again. If I roll down, we've got padding and margin, and this is specifically for the icon itself. So I'm going to give it, say, negative 10. 
negative 10 pix. It'll put in the px for you. I think I need a bit more than that. Let's say negative 20. That's about right for me. It's almost in the middle there, but obviously you can tweak it up and down with the little arrows till it's exactly where you want it. I think something like that might be good. 15. That's great. Well, I'm happy with that, but I want to see more of our image behind and I want to give this a bit of space in there too. So to do that, still in the design, let's close this one back up. We're going to go down to our spacing. I'm going to add a bit of padding top, bottom, left and right. Now it looks like I've got more space on the bottom than I have on the top. So let's perhaps give it 60 pixels on the top and 40 on the bottom. That's about right for me. I'm going to give this an actual size later on, so it will change slightly, but that's not a bad start. I'm also going to give it a bit of padding on the left to take it away from that side there. 20 pixels, that's fine. And if I hit the chain, it'll do the same this side. That looks about 20 pixels, so you may not see a difference. Yeah, that's fine. Great. So now we've got it looking how we want it, we can actually create the hover effect that we want. And to do that, what I need to do is shrink the whole thing down in size till it's only the size of the icon and that's all that shows. Then when they hover over it, I'm going to have it stretch back out to the full size and reveal all that text. So when I shrink it down, all that text is going to shrink down here and make the module taller. I don't want that to happen. So what I'm going to do is close up spacing. I'm going to go up to sizing just above it. I'm going to give this an actual fixed height. So if we roll down here, we've got height. Let's say 200 pixels. Just put in the 200 or put in the PX. Yeah, that's made it slightly bigger. You can make it exactly the same if you want to by taking it down with the little arrows again. I'm going to leave mine just like that. Then to make sure that this text doesn't spill outside of our box when I take it down in size, just to demonstrate what's going on. If I get a width up here, if I take this down in size, you'll see that text start to shrink and get taller. And it's actually going to fall out of the box there. That's why the windows got bigger there. I want to prevent that. Let's put that back how it was. Common to all Divi modules. If you do something you don't like it, just select it, delete it. It'll go back to the default for you. To, to prevent that overflow falling out there, we can go to advanced down to visibility there we're going to find horizontal and vertical overflow I'm going to switch both of those to hidden that way when we shrink it back down this text is not going to be seen anywhere below that bottom line right there great well let's go back and do it I'm going to go back down I'm going to go back to my sizing now initially when they see this, I just want them to see the image with an icon on it. So let's go down to our width, not the content width that we changed earlier. We need to do that just the width on its own here to do this. And common to all Divi modules, if you hover over the dark riding within a module, you'll see some little icons. If there's a little arrow there, we can make a hover effect. Desktop is when the mouse is not on it. So when the mouse is not on it, let's shrink it down to say 10%. And that's cutting off a bit of our logo. Let's up it with the little arrows to say 12%. Yep, we can see all of the logo there, fantastic. When they hover over it now, just click on the little arrow up here. Let's bring it back to 100%. That's great. So when they're not hovering over it, all they're going to see is that little icon right there. And you'll note the browser window is not resized, so our text is not falling out of here, which is fantastic. Then when they hover over, we're going to have it all back. Now the time it takes to go from one to the other with Divi is 300 milliseconds, which is pretty quick, just under a third of a second. I'm going to slow this down for a bit of effect. To do that, go over to the advanced, and this is common again to all modules go down to transitions there's the default 300 mils I'm gonna make mine about a second say 1000 milliseconds don't want any delay I want it to happen as soon as they put their mouse over a little icon there 
transition speed curve for this today my favorite for these horror effects is ease in ease out these are all subtly different some will work better than others in certain situations so do check them out but for my hover effects i'm going to use the ease in ease out great well let's see what we got and see if this is going to work for us today i'm going to hit the little purple button at the bottom save draft or publish if you're ready and let's exit the visual builder roll on down to where we were working there it is when i roll over the icon that text is going to generate up like that when i take my mouse off it's going to ease back in again and like i say that's a fantastic little effect to have on your desktop site if people are mousing around that's going to get their attention pretty quickly now you can use this on tablet and mobile if you want to i'm not sure that i would it will work but of course to get this effect they'll actually have to tap that icon you could do another version perhaps with a little tap underneath or something like that but that's up to you so there you go guys there is a nice little image with icon to text hover effect for you using the divi theme no coding involved today really easy to do don't forget if you have any questions pop them below the video i'll do my best to answer them for you or make a demo video once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.